Good night, everybody. Tonight I want to talk about something I've been hearing for the past couple of months about what is one of the major reasons for AP and UAFT to lose this election. People talk and all kind of thing. But I want to share my opinion, my views <coughs> as to why I think they lose this election. For me is after the vote and no confidence motion they would have lose. They should have called the election about a month after that, after the 24th of December. They should have held the election in January and they would have had a 90% chance of winning the election. Then, now what they do is try to go back to a new voters list, try to put the partisan stay in G committee chair. They start exposing the weaknesses and the, the biggest mistake they make is give the PPP a chance to expose them. Give Jack Dio a chance to speak to the nation, speak to the people them, go by the house, go in the village, talk to them. They give them too much of time. If they hold the election in January, the PPP would not have a chance to expose what the AP and AFC was doing because they would have been hard to busy preparing for the election. They didn't even have a presidential candidate as yet. Now, <coughs> they give Jack, Jack the opportunity to go out and tell the people. AP and you promise, AP and you have to promise that they're going to lower the tax, they put tax on water, they put tax on light, put tax on agri agriculture, chemicals, machineries, and a whole set thing that if they're the whole election a month after the, the no confidence motion. PPP want to get the opportunity to expose the AP and AFC about the things we're doing, about the billion dollars more we're put on, on food for the government, increase the salary by 100%, buy all kind of new expensive vehicle, and a whole lot of things that they was doing. Signing, uh, signing all these corrupt contracts for X amount of money when the contract in cars the amount of money so they can get a thief for the rest. Renting a land one man $25 million to buy a building and then renting the, the building from the man for how much million dollar a month? More than we buy for the renting it for a month. All them thing there would not have get exposed if they the whole election a month after the no confidence motion. So they, they give PPP too much of time to uh, win back the people them vote. Take up the school grant the ten thousand. They cannot afford that, but they could afford one billion dollar more food. They could they could afford to increase the salary by 100%, only raise the public servant income by 5%. All these things, what was going on? All the corruption, what was going on? People wouldn't know about them. And people would have believed that they didn't have enough time, that they had enough time and power 
to start doing these things with a promise and vote them back again give them a next chance they would have more votes than what they have now right because i don't think azan jagvio involved with the ppp it's hard for anybody else to win the election but it would have given them a better chance than what i had in the 2020 election a year or something after the no confidence motion you understand they, are, they give the ppp opportunities to build the, the voters confidence to believe in them bring out the manifesto and elaborate on the manifesto right with the thing explain to people what they can be doing and, and all these things these little matters here is what make people change from APN AFC back to PPP because a lot of PPP supporters would have had to vote for the AP and new AFC in 2015 for them to win the election. So these people would have swing back to the PPP after the PPP would have gone with the manifesto and the plans and, and the, the whole election things with a little line and, and whatsoever they got inside. Right, so they it's probably the most What do you want to look at? Now? The most fundamental basis as why PPP would have won the election in 2020. They have enough time to reach out to the people there. You understand? So people come out and say that PPP rigged, the thief. No, not, none of them things didn't happen in the election. They were just allegations. Because if you have to remember, March 3rd, AP and UAFC said a win. Granger come out and say he win, Ramjatan come out and say he win. Then they went to the, the Mingo ceremony, went to court and all kind of thing, still claiming they win the election. When they reached the, the recall, is when the dead people them vote and the migrated people them vote because they had to find some other solution, some other way in telling the, the supporters as to why they lose when they claim that they win in the first place. So now they only lose now because the dead people them vote and the migrated people them vote. Right? There's the reason make them lose. They didn't lose because they get voted out. Free and fair. But the supporters, some of them still believe that PPP wrapped in the election. Now, yeah, I want the other thing. If they win the election, why didn't they declare the SOPs from the starting? Up to now, you cannot see none of the SOPs. Not one. Louis Field had GCOM SOPs in his position. If the AP and UAFC win the election, free and fair, low in fee would have bring them out. I said, look, if the AP and UAFC win the election, Mingara had to call us no fraudulent figures from a spreadsheet as to put them to win the election. The SOPs would have shown that they win the election. You understand, there is no way the AP and UAFC win this election free and fair. Or win it in general. And they didn't want to show nobody the SOPs. There's no way that would be possible. Then would have been the first person for the road protesting with the SOPs in the air. If PPP was trying to do something negative towards them winning the election. Then would have been the road protesting with the SOPs on the black yard. Saying this is the SOPs here. Low and free would have bring them up. Mingo would have been using them. Until this day, nobody can bring out the SOPs. A SOP or a, a, is the SOPs for the AP and UAFC. But they're still claiming that they win the election based on fraudulent votes. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm from the land woods. So if I'm in valid woods, I'm in valid woods, we are going to take the fight. And some of these people here still would have believed that the AP and UEFC win the elections and pick P. Rabbit. Now, start, go back from the start at the election. They win, they did not declare they had to win. Mingo put on the most for the for tea for them to win. How you can win free and fair, and Mingo have to try to tea to put you to win. And yeah, I say Mingo is not, but the recon show that Mingo is trying to put it. How, how do things would be possible? And yeah, I still believe this, these things, Sherrod Duncan, Christopher Jones, what Arby Norton and Valda Lawrence and all of them talking, trying to spread corruption, trying to put negative negative things in your head. No, you got to be a special force to don't know that PPP win this election. Free and fair. I, I say in a video, the last video I met, Ari Norton said that people said the PPP was intimidating them into voting. Pay some of them to vote. And he have an investigation going on about who gets paid to vote. And he said, Ari Norton said this, that we would have to wait until the election finish. This person would have had to vote for us and then we would have, we would have proceed with the investigation. And they happen. Then they happen here, but nothing about that. The story about Anil and the last sharing out ID card in, in one report. That happened then and it done then. We are here, nothing about that. Them is things, if they was true, to put PPP out of power, not to win this election. Because them is fraud. They, they didn't have to go and get no dead people vote and migrate people on these things. <laughs> if they had proof that PPP was paying somebody else to vote for them, or if Anil Nandala was shared out ID card, if that was true, then the election process, process was hampered. Um, AP and UAFC would have deemed the winners of the election. I don't think they die away. They blow away with the wind. They're gone. You hear back nothing about them. So they're going to valid votes and, and invalid votes now based on ac accusation. None of them think they ain't true. They're just trying to mislead you, the supporter into believing the lie. That's why you see <coughs> Sheryl Duncan and Christopher Jones three times a day on TV, on social media, trying to, to spread these lies, to make them believable. They are not believable. And you actually stop, because nobody will believe them stupid. It's long enough now. And this way I'll do, you keep wasting time, giving people time to think and a review We you all doing. You understand? These things, y'all try it with Mingo, it didn't work, you call it a quit right there. You understand? You call it, call it a quit right there, but y'all keep giving people time to think and assess what y'all trying to do. Guyanese people are stupid. Guyanese people are very smart and they, they will find a way how to think what is right and what is right. It's just the few of them who are hardcore supporters are willing to support you, whether you are willing to support your thief in them, if I should put it that way. See, I don't know your thief and they're willing to support you. There's only a few of them who will go to those methods to degrade themselves and their character to support your thief. In. Not everybody. <coughs> so, a lot of these people who <coughs> would be supporting you after March 2nd going on to mingle time. Would have pulled out by now because they would have done see you are trying to keep the election and nothing we are coming out with it making no sense because y'all 
bring out one life for them to marry a different life. The life we attack today vanish. Then next week you are going to bring a new life and the one we attack tomorrow going to vanish. Every day is something new and the one we are attacking before it make no sense. It ain't making no sense. People would have don't understand that already. Right, so y'all is who give real opportunity of winning the election. When y'all give PPP this amount of time to prepare for, for an election. Right? Because they would get exposed. Highlight what y'all was doing for the public. The public wasn't aware. Most of the people in Ghana was even checking for see where you are going. They got to walk, they come home, and, and that's it. You understand? But when this thing get put out to the public on social media, national TV, you are being highlighted as to what your problem is. And then people would be aware of what you was doing when they wasn't checking for you. And that is why you lose the election. So, green job. You is the cause of your losing the election. Because you body, body with the rest of the jackass system you got in your team. And now you ain't only lose the election, you kill the PNC. When the AP and UFC automatically dead from some someone and them disease or I'm Ali bring up. From 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 Shagri. She don't kill them already. But you and Harmon and Abby Norton and them is who kill the PNC. So you don't just lose the election. I you kill yourself in the process. Now you're gonna make it very, very difficult for a young politician to come and take over the AP and UAF, the PNC in fact, to win an election for now. Y'all make that impossible for the young generation who will be taken over from y'all to have a chance of winning an election. So y'all don't want to destroy yourself. I you destroy the next generation of politicians to come forward. Y'all don't kill them already before they even exist. Because y'all want to hang on to power. Okay, you try thief and you get catch, okay, it's good, we done ready. You can't see then you go lying away. Everything good. But no, you have me to destroy it. Turn it into dust and it blow you with the wind before you have before you have come out of it. Now you have put all the power in PPP position when it comes to election. So it can be a one sided race now. And no competition again. That is what you have to do to the PNC. Listen, Granger. The little life with the PNC hanging up on at the moment left off for the next generation. Concede. Give up. You lose the election. Give up and live the little life. Let the P PNC continue at least breathing, but breathing slowly. Instead, they kill it. Death, death, death. You understand? Left the life in it for who coming next. Because you and Harman Ali, this is your last chance. You are done from him. Harman and you and Ali are done for already. So I really don't care nothing about the young generation who come in to take over the PNC party. You don't really care nothing about them. What they can get? We are left in for your young generation of black people. Who can be taking over the PNC? We are doing for them. Nothing. You only care about yourself. And now, this is all I care about. I your pocket and what we have to do now. And I yourself. And I come saying that I care about people. I ain't care about nobody but I yourself. Promising this good life in 2015. With the good life, only person get good life is you, Ranger. Your ministers them and your family. And are your friends them? Well, are your friends them only get good life because I are your friends a thief? Because I able to use BK and them 
to thief the money when giving B BTS 840 million dollar contract to build the school when it only cost 450 million where did 390 million go in in one year pocket and you care about the people when you take with the, the, the water and the electricity subsidy from the from the pensioners them but you increase your food money by one billion dollar a year what the fuck you was eating some us you have to get gold plate and gold spoon you have to be the yard taking for buy with a billion dollar a year for a couple of y'all to eat and not only a billion a billion plus what you had before and put the people them to punish the old people them who have to go and look for money take the pension money and pay lot of water and light take with the children them school grant the ten thousand dollar a year yeah I cannot afford that make the parents them who don't suffering under y'all already got to take money for buy school clothes for them and y'all was and that's the good life and these supporters who support y'all that is the good life we are supporting to get right that your mother and grandmother when they would get free light and water and when your children would get ten thousand dollars each for buying the school clothes yeah name one dog when they take out all them things <coughs> they left a good life for y'all and this way you are supporting that is what you call a good life right so when, when, when these subsidies was happening, your mother, your grandmother, your grandfather, your old uncle, your old auntie, all of them would have get free light and water. You would have get, if you got free children, you got $30,000 every year for helping buy your school clothes. That, 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 that is not good life. No, that is not good life. That is it's bad action. So we ain't want no more. So we're going to support these people here who don't take back all these things from, from me to come come back again for take more when them life them be them going marry at some and drink red wine and eat and you gotta be drinking pipe water you cannot afford to buy a bottle of water and this is the good life for you supporting them to get right this would this be a green you give me all a good life now the PPP premise to take up the put back the the poor people them on in a position they don't have to pay no light no water plus they may get at the end of the five years they end up with part of thousand dollars a month and you for the next five years you can end up with fifty thousand dollars for each one of your child a month, a year. So, but that is not a good life. That is not a good life. It's not that we it, we don't want that. We don't want that. There's not nothing. There's nothing to do with a good life. No. Mm -mm. When when they take it back and we have to punish and suffer there is when is a good life now when you're getting all these advantages from the government no doctor can't be good if there was good i would have never vote for the ap and uefc again alibat woke up on agriculture or in the agriculture sector palm pores everything the man put on back button everything like they had no fat water they had no fat ah they have what now they take back all of them thing there we always get it and it's a good life of this i understand what you are mean when you say good life for you and i understand what some of your good life means you are accustomed to living in 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 the standard of life so you don't care you don't want to elevate from there how you are coming rich you want to go and leave it there's not the way you might go and leave it how you come and reach it but at least you can left something 
better for your children. And this is what you should be fighting for. Something better for your children, not for you. This is not about you. You don't live your life already. And you're struggling or whatsoever, you don't live it already. You don't have your chance and your opportunities. But this is not for you. This is for your children then. This is what you're fighting for, for your children then, not for you personal greed. But some of y'all are so ignorant that y'all can't see. And y'all don't even know what y'all are fighting for. Y'all are just fighting for Granger. Granger, Granger, Granger. Granger ain't do nothing for none of you. Granger ain't do a shit for none of y'all. None. The, the... The joint services used to get it one month bonus every year. They're gone. But there's not a good life when they, when they was getting it. No. The one the one month bonus is nothing. They, they can't make a good life. No. Take it back. It's a better life now. It's a better life you are living now on the green job. Oh, you yeah, start sell cook up and dance and chip yet? No, that is a better life, a better future for your children. Them. When the president of the country can come and tell you to go and sell plant and chip and cook up and sugar cake, this is where you want the children to grow up and do. And there's a better life we are fighting for intro. This is the better life we are fighting for. Understood. We are mean when you say I want a better life. We are really want. But ignorance could never be the answer. Ignorance could never be the answer. You need to sit down, clear your head, and think positive. You understand? And take five minutes. Just five minutes at a time. Not more than that. Sit down, clear your head. I think five minutes. Five minutes at a time, not more than that. Think a way it was then, before the APNU, AFC. Think how it was in the APNU, AFC time, and think where you can be based on what the opposition promise. Because they put up the, what do call it, the, the portfolio, whatsoever it is, the manifesto. All over everybody for the city. It's online. Go and check the manifesto. Just five minutes. At your time. And think outside of the box you're thinking now. And after the five minutes, see if you can come up with a different decision to as to what you have now. Just five minutes. Just clear your head for five minutes. And think where it was before AP and UFC, where it was when AP and UFC take over, and think where it would be in this next party take over. Now, them only have five years. So if they do the same thing like what Granger do, and, 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 and tell you that's a good life, then you do the same thing with what people do now. Vote them out. Is you putting them in and you could take them out. You understand? No matter what Granger do, you can come out. Because the people of the country taking here, not nobody else. They vote here. And you got the same privilege to do in the next five years if this opposition now ain't do what they promised to do. You understand? But a lot of we don't see it as it is that they promise development, they promise something good. And none of y'all can, can tell me that y'all ain't have life good under Jabio. Because a lot of people, if not everybody in Guyana, was enjoying something in Jack Dio time. You might not get everything you desire, but he was enjoying something in Jack Dio time. In Green Day time, none of y'all didn't get nothing. It's just Green Day that was collecting this money. Give them a chance. They win the election. Instead of you going and support Green Day for trying to thief and put the country in a hole, at, it done in a hole already. They get more deep and more deep every day as it go by. Stop now. And wait. It's only five years. And it could finish before five years. If they ain't promised to do it. All they got to do is go to court. 
with, with an election petition and it could happen it could stop before that or convince somebody to vote against them in, in, in the vote in, in, in parliament in a no confidence motion and it could done before five years but if not it's only five years to have and you can vote them out again you understand <clears throat> so before y'all go out and, and, and listen to these people trying to mislead y'all distract y'all from where the truth really is because what they're what probably doing right now is putting up a blackboard in front of your face with all these lies and corruption because they don't want y'all to see behind the board what is really behind there what is the real fact and the truth they don't want y'all to see that so they're coming out now with this arc of the light I'm, I'm blocking from seeing where's reality this is what they're doing so just sit down and move the blackboard from the face and see, how, see what is behind there. And see if you can have the same opinion you have now. Okay? Again, your party lose because they think they're smart. And they outsmart the self. This is why your party lose. This is why the AP and UEFC lose. They outsmart the self. You understand? That is what they did. So they don't want to blame nobody for them losing the election. Blame them. You have to blame them. It's them who give up the election. Trying to play smart. Now they're trying to thief it. When smart when, when they realize they're not smart, they're trying to thief it. Now if he wasn't smart enough to win it, how you can be smart enough to thief it? If the next party was smart enough to win it from you, when you when you in power, you controlling every single thing in the country, and you ain't smart enough to win it, the opposition will come out and win you. How do you think you could be smarter than them to thief it? Because basically, they have to be smarter than you to win it in the first place. You don't think they're smart enough to overcome you trying to thief it? Come on, people. These things they're making themselves. The so called election specialists or election scientists, Pinocchio, Arby Norton, aka Pinocchio. Every time he lies, he knows 12 more. He's an election jackass. You understand? That them is, them, them is jackass. Them is who make the AP and UEFC, the PNC, in fact, lose the election. Those jackasses there. Harmon and all of them. Them old goats. All them old goats. Believe they're smarter than the young brain. Them brain them old and watch out already. And y'all supporting them for come and give y'all a good life. The good life for the had y'all in for the past four four plus years. The good life that would have given y'all then. Y'all wanted to continue giving y'all a good life. It could only get worse than it is now under the AP and UEFC. It would only get worse because more money they get is more big they can do. You understand? The more money they get is the more they can thief. They may care nothing about you. If they didn't care nothing about you with all these billions from billions of dollars they collect in, in, in the, the four plus years, $96 billion additional tax and you don't get nothing from that. You think when the money comes in and they are something from that? No, the more they get is more they can thief. They ain't care nothing about you. And if you are supporting them when they're thieving now, and the money ain't come yet, when the money comes, what do they think they can do? They can thief more because they know they have your support already. They all know they was thieving and, and you support them, so they can thief more, bare, more bare face. Because they know they have your support. You understand? Let it go. Don't go and wild up yourself behind them assholes. And get yourself in problem. Give you a, put yourself in a position to get coronavirus. When something happens to you, it's you it happens to not them. And they won't look after each other in them. If you is to die from coronavirus. They won't go and get each them something because they're gonna be out of power. And even if they was in power, they're not gonna think of they wasn't thinking about you when you were alive. They're going to think about you when you're dead. That they left three children there to look after. 
Ah, we can look at the because she was supporting me, make sure didn't. They ain't care nothing about you. The whole coronavirus, the whole pandemic in Guyana, with all these lockdowns, not for you, ain't working. What a come and give you? They go and pay lobby in form. What a come and give y'all? Instead of supporting y'all. And you are willing to sacrifice a, a life and your children's future to support them. And that there's the kind of mentality y'all have. And know that the thing is, it, if, they, if, you are, if these people they really win the election, and the people are trying to take it from them, I understand you die hard supporter. And you want to support, but you all know for a fact that these people are trying to thief the election. I have the evidence out there showing that they lose the election, and you all know that for a fact, and still supporting them to try to thief it. Do, are you willing to risk your life and your children's future for those jackasses there? Ask yourself the question. Right? Ask yourself that question. If you go there and get coronavirus, it's you alone get it, not, not you and them. And how much of y'all don't get coronavirus already in the hospital? How much of them come and see you? Or, or send a, a piece of bread and give you? Or go and give your family something? Since I ain't there with coronavirus. How much of them come and check for y'all? None. Right? All them bu busy fighting for TV election. Nobody get nothing about you. You understand? Nobody cares nothing about you. Good. Why telling you to do? Is what happened here? Let a battle it. Let us the concede, give up, and don't want to wind up yourself behind them. They don't lose the election. They lose the election. The world cannot say they lose and, and, and they ain't lose. Don't worry, Arby Norton and, and, and Basil Williams and them, but this person pay the person, the person. Them just, they all know this life. Yeah, the Guyanese people are so stupid. Y'all yeah, know the line. All the presiding officers get paid and everything. Yeah, how, how don't think they pass? Ah, even to the people who work for them. Who is y'all? The supporters. Who was working for them? Even to them get paid off. Y'all yeah, know these people like. They lose the election. Fair and square. So y'all yeah, don't want to buy the should Tell them let the concede and let the country move forward. The PPP only have five years in there. If they don't do what the Selegan do and make your life better in five years, you have a right to vote them out again. You have a right to vote them out again. Or we can't support these people trying to thief. If they, they was in there legally and thieving, when they're going there illegally, what they gonna what they gonna do? What do you think they can do with the L money? What do you think they can, they can give you some? They can provide some kind of work for you? What kind of work? No development going on in the country when it was in there. Work come after development. If they go into the office illegally, they mean most of the business in Regent Street and closed up. Because it's under dictatorship. No, and they get sanctions. Most of the business gonna close down, if not all. Export gonna stop, import gonna stop. We are going to be working. Yeah, they are going to come and give you nothing. We are going to be working to free your children. And pay your rent. Or pay your mortgage. Or try to save something to make your children's future better. We are going to do that. Ask yourself these questions. Because if they, go, if they bully the way and stay into power after this court ruling. And you can make a declaration and they don't want to come out of there. It will have sanctions. I see Ramjet and come out and saying that, oh, they're, they're just bluffing about sanctions. We're going to find out. Let us stay in there longer than, than after the declaration and see what will happen. Who's bluffing and who ain't bluffing? They're just trying to put things in your head that the American bluffing about sanctions. They're not going to put no sanctions. The reason no sanctions come here is because it matter in court every time. You can make a declaration here. That's why no sanctions come here. But if these things is to be become reality, we're going to see what you are going to do. Ask yourself this question if you are willing to sacrifice that for these jackasses within there. This bunch of thief within there. Ask yourself if you are willing to sacrifice all to support them when they ain't care a shit about none of them. Okay? This thing is not about, about you black or hopefully because a lot of coolie people would have voted for Granger in 2015. 
So this is not about who black or is who could do something for the country. Okay, good night everybody. I don't way past my, my usual recording time. Good night. Please stay safe. Stay away from Rona. Okay, and please take five minutes. Think outside of the box you're thinking right now. Okay. Once again, stay safe. Have a wonderful night. See you in the next video.